Hi, my name's Andy Bauer at Object Arts. I thought I'd put together another video on the Aragon 3D system, um, this time about skies. I've created a simple scene here with a building on a ground plane. And let's go into the Assets folder, choose the Skies category, and drop in a simple summer sky. Now this is implemented using a skybox. It's made to use, be slightly more dynamic by the fact it's got a very slight rotation applied to it. As you can see, it's, uh, the clouds are moving. Um, a skybox, if you don't know, is created of six individual planes around the surfaces of a cube. Um, you can create these things in a variety of tools. I actually used Bryce to do this. If you go to your um, Aragon 3D directory and drill down into the Assets folder and then into the directory called Skies, you'll see that, uh, if I just choose the icons, you'll see that there are in fact six planes here which make up the, uh, the skybox. As I say, this was built in a, in a system called Bryce, uh, but there are a variety of other ways of making skyboxes. However, a more interesting sky is included in Aragon, and this is created by a chap called uh, Zachnafine, or his real name is Renal Bedar, uh, at uh, the instruction limit or one word, dot com. Um, if we actually go and remove the current sky we have here, and now let's choose the Zach gradient sky. Now this is a dynamically generated sky uh, created using high level shader language. Um, and you can see at the moment we have some clouds moving around. Um, this is configurable in a number of ways. Go to the properties window and let's drill down, choose the sky, and you see we have quite a few uh, properties available to control this. Uh, one particular thing we can do is we can control the cloud velocity. So we could, let's make it move a lot faster than it currently is moving. You see the cloud, the cloud speed up. We can do other things like, oops, we can do other things like controlling the cloud color See, I'm making some quite nice white fluffy clouds now. Let's let that flip back and see what's going on. Um, and if you want to, you can actually uh, change the shader language behind this. Um, as I say, this was I'm not a shader language expert, but you see there is actually a window down here where you can edit the uh, high-level shader code that actually creates this sky. Um, uh, this was created, as I say, by a chap called Zachnafine. Um, so there's quite a few good things you can do with this. We, for example, you could change the, uh, the different uh, colours available. You see there are a number of uh, different colours. Let's change the zenith colour to something a bit more dramatic. Uh, like, for example, um, let's make it something like an orange colour. There we are. And let's actually change the cloud colour to something like... Um, dramatic red and you see you've got the basis of some sort of uh, alien sky being created here uh, let's just reduce that a bit there we go and I hope you can see that the, uh, the possibilities with a sky like this are, are endless and um, you can have quite a lot of fun messing around with it thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you again soon